Beauty Seekers, I'm Nick. We're out here at Computex Taipei 2024 checking out what ASUS has to offer. They've got a little bit of networking, a little bit of Threadripper Pro, but before that, here's a word from our video sponsors. Funnily enough, it's these guys right here. Take it away, Claire. Our Computex Taipei 2024 coverage is proudly brought to you by ASUS and ROG, the Republic of Gamers. Uncover the future of gaming and tech with their latest products. From handhelds to AI, from networking to graphics cards and everything in between, ASUS and ROG have got you covered. You can find links to their latest products in the video description. Sometimes I see products and I don't have words and it, it never translates well to video, but this is something else. This is a foldable OLED portable monitor. It's not touch screen, but damn, this thing looks crazy. I'm gonna try not to break this. This is part of their new ProArt lineup as well. My word. I, ha I don't have words, that's the thing. This is gorgeous. People bang on about how nice OLED monitors are, but when it's in a format like this, this is just unbelievable. And I know people are already gonna complain about seeing the hinge, but what can you do? It's a foldable display. What is this thing even called? I didn't even know, the Zen screen fold? What, it looks like a laptop, but it's... This is something Claire and I would probably chuck in our bags when we come to Computex next year for having a second display on our editing PCs or our Macs or whatever. This is, I, do, I don't have words. It's very, very, I'm sorry. I'm actually blown away by how sick this thing is. Honest to God, I have no words. When you told, when, when Asus told me about this, I'm like, yeah, that's cool, but seeing it, yeah. Wow, Zen screen fold, OLED. I'm lost for words. Honestly, it's so cool. A little <laughs> It was about a year ago when Asus took over Intel's entire NUC business. And for me, you guys know, we're trying to do more mini PC stuff. This is interesting to me. Now, Intel's NUCs felt a little bit stagnant as they were in their current forms. Asus swooped in and decided to shake it up and give us some very, very interesting alternatives with that Intel NUC branding. So first of all, we've got the NUC 14 Pro Plus. These little CPUs are the CPUs you'll find in portable computers like laptops and whatnot, but the main thing that I really like about all of these NUCs is they don't use power when they're plugged in for normal applications. Now we've covered this quite a bit with stuff like the minis for and mini PCs, and we've got some Geekom and B-Link stuff coming up, but the main kind of draw card for me personally is I use these for servers and we reduce our overall power usage when you use stuff like this for servers. So that is a very practical use case for people, especially who are into home lab like me. They're small as well and they're about the height of one rack unit. So you can put maybe four of these on a rack shelf and then you've got a very powerful little cluster for a fraction of the price of buying some rack mount server gear. So that's why I like these mini PCs. The biggest theme at Computex this year is the two letter naughty word that I won't mention in any videos, but what is interesting about this is Asus is already ahead of the curve with a bunch of their NUCs with these new Lunar Canyon NUCs. These have the new MPU that Intel was talking about to support all of their machine learning and large language models. The great thing about this is it's not going to use very much power at all, but from what I can tell, it's only 45 tops, which means it's not going to be quite as potent as AMD's offerings. What I would like to see is Asus do some more stuff with AMD powered NUCs. Well, they're gonna be AMD powered mini PCs. The reason why I talk about this stuff in videos, guys, is because when we do Computex coverage, it's more likely for these companies to see our feedback and make me cool stuff. <laughs> I just want it. But here's something else that you guys might find interesting. They have NUCs that are almost console replacements. These 
aren't very big, but look at this. This has a full fat 40 series GPU in it. You know, if you don't want to have a PS5, you can have something like this. This is cool. It's super dense though. I need to go to the gym and work out. <laughs> Seriously, Dylan, feel that. You reckon you can pick, pick that up? It's pretty heavy, eh? Like it's heavier than a PS5 for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get some of these to cover them because I think this stuff's pretty interesting. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Typically on the channel, we don't cover many laptops, but when I was walking through the booth, I was looking at stuff that I really wanted to talk about. And this new ProArt series of laptops really piqued my interest. I'm calling it the BlackBook Pro because it looks exactly like a MacBook Pro, but it's, it's black. Now, the thing that is kind of strange to me about Pro Art Laptops is Asus is a freaking laptop company. They want to do stuff with content creation. They make all this other Pro Art stuff. So what took them so long to make a Pro Art laptop? It's so confusing to me, but credit where credit is due. They do have them now and believe it or not, I want to put this up against one of the new M3 MacBook Pros to see what the dealio is. And for me personally, battery life will be the biggest thing. We do have some specifications, but the thing is, guys, I don't, I just don't trust it until I get to play with it. The ProArt P16 for me is definitely something I want to get my hands on and something I'm looking forward to. And it's not often that I'm excited about laptop stuff. This thing is gorgeous. Look at it. Look how thin this thing is, it's crazy. I spotted something else. I don't know why ASUS is not talking about this this year. There's a single tough X870 board right there. Look, they don't even say what it's for. They just say next gen X870. That's a bit disappointing, guys. What's going on? It's very Intel here this year. What an incredible looking motherboard. Honestly, this supports the 96 core Threadripper Pro. The power delivery on this thing is 32 plus three plus three, plus three phase for the VRM. Absolutely freaking bonkers. I'm gonna really push ASUS to get this board so we can do something incredibly over the top on the channel. And I gotta let you guys know, I've got a couple more of these new Threadrippers sitting on the shelf at home, ready for a new home. The WRX90 Sage has been out for a little while now and the only reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I get to see it in person. Stuff like the Sage is kind of hard for us to come across. I got pretty lucky with the WRX80 Sage, but what I wanted to show you was more interesting was, you know how we make videos talking about a million PCIe slots? This is what it looks like when you put it to work. What an incredible looking machine. If I could rack mount something like this in my office, I absolutely would. Wow, I, I, I really, yeah, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this because a lot of you guys are into the things that I'm into. Crazy, crazy applications for over the top workloads. This is designed to do the naughty word. The, 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 oh, I almost said it, almost said it, but yeah, okay. That's it, that's it. I'm done with everything here. I'm tired. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing my face with our Computex 2024 coverage. Almost sort of 2023 in a time machine. All right, ladies and gents, that's just about gonna do it for our coverage here at the ASUS booth at Computex Taipei 2024. Special thanks to Blackmagic Design, the purveyors of the best broadcast and cinema cameras on earth. Check out links in the description. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek, but let me know what you thought was the best thing at ASUS. Man, that WRX90 Sage board is looking insane, but that foldable monitor, my word, I have no words. I'm getting that thing. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.